I'm sitting here in front of a piano. Anyway, I'm sitting in front of a piano in the chapel, hanging out with Jesus, May 13th which is the first day of Fatima, the first 13th of Fatima. But I, I got a, a text message, like several text messages this morning, early this morning, about a guy that's on his way here. And I know it's nerves and jitters or whatever, but I realize how much I have changed and how much I've really just chipped away at the core that really hasn't changed. Um... He was asking me about a whole bunch of books and what to bring. And, and I basically was just telling him what not to bring. I said, honestly, if you're asking my opinion, I would say the first thing you're going to leave home is all your books. Because books pile on weight. And I said, we have a library here. Like, you can kind of see it from here. We have a library here that it's, it's like two rooms, like a, an entire hallway. And we're going to get assigned books. So what I really wanted to say was... What is the difference between an apostolic religious discernment and the other kinds of discernment, <laughs> which I guess would be monastic, right? Like apostolic has a monastic core, but I think your monastic core has got to be personal devotions. But your apostolic call has to kind of be to go. And I think it's also, at least since I've been here, been a discovery of who I already am and who I've always been and how as much as I stripped away everything when I got here there was a Wii U here and that was not a coincidence like I think the subtle reminder of becoming apostolic just means go go forth sent forth and if you're going to relate to this world right now and all you talk about is your books and your extra devotions and all that stuff, like you're not going to be a relatable apostolic missionary. That doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you, but it's something that if at your core, that's who you are. I don't think this is the place to be. I have a very personal prayer life, but I have an, extroverted nature and I enjoy life music talking friends laughing jokes inappropriate jokes like what do you bring with you like that's to answer the question what do you bring with you to an apostolic discernment <laughs> bring your sins bring your failings bring your brokenness bring all the lessons you've learned in your life but leave all the holiness supposed stuff that you understand behind don't bring a bunch of books if you're going to shut yourself up in your library and read all the time i mean that's going to be helpful for some things but that's your own spirituality your private spirituality you've lived the life where you're private and, and independent but if you're discerning to be part of a religious community you have to bring your tendencies that we all have i mean what is what makes us laugh a lot inappropriate jokes and when people get hurt and like being able to laugh in spite of ourselves to be the right kind of self-deprecating is entirely helpful to apostolic discernment to being part of a, of a community parish centered you know uh, mission centered order if you're coming to discern this and all you want to do is shut up in this chapel chapel all the time i think you're 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 losing the full sense of a community sense of devotion. I'm so glad that enough of that was made clear to me that in my sins and in my brokenness, he is strong. So on a Fatima day, when you're asking me, what do you bring with you next semester? Bring your sins, bring your personality, leave the books, Leave the doctrine and be formed.
because as you leave it, he will build it up. I've been saying for a long time, she's building an army, but it's her army. And her army here is not the same as her army in a monastery or even the diocesan priesthood. So that's my two cents. I'm not licensed by anybody to say anything. I'm just a student. I'm just discerning, trying to figure out how I best love. And I love extroverted and I pray devoted. But work is a part of prayer. And so is being in this space. Find your own time in your own space, but don't forget who you already are because God called you. And if you are going to be an apostle, you need to be sent forth, not kept in.